post one month post gallbladder surgery and I'm doing it in the car for you guys um today is the 30th and in two days it's gonna be two or three days whatever the second April 2nd is going to be the month since I've had my surgery and I mean, you know, like, obviously, you know, they saw that my gallbladder wasn't working and they wanted to get it out. But I swear, since the surgery, um, you know, I've been... I don't want to say since the surgery, but within like the past two weeks, I've been having a lot of stomach aches. Almost every time I eat, my stomach hurts. Um, I lost, um, let's see, I lost about 17 pounds since my surgery. Um, yeah, I lost about 17 pounds since my surgery. And I don't know. Like, I just, I'm just having a lot of, like, nausea. I'm having some days of just, like, throwing up, you know. Like, not all day, but I'll be so nauseous that I throw up. Um, I, have a, I have had a bunch of days of diarrhea. I've had a bunch of days of um, constipation where I'll go two, three, four days without pooping. Um, you know, like, honestly, I don't feel like the surgery is helping. Like, if anything, I think my stomach kind of feels worse since the surgery. Um, I don't know, you guys. Like, I, I don't know, like... Like, it's just, it's hard to, like, think of, you know, like, because I don't, I don't want anything else to be wrong. I don't want to have to go under another surgery. But I think they seriously need to look at other options for what could possibly be wrong, you know? Because I don't know. But hold on, guys. I'm going around this thing to get onto the freeway. I'm going to hold you guys down so you don't fall. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, like, it, 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 it makes me, it makes me feel scared, it makes me feel sad, it makes me feel frustrated, because, you know, you don't want something to be seriously wrong, you don't want something else to be messed up, you know. It's like I have all these mixed feelings, you know, like, you know, what could it be? Is it my bowel? Is it my intestines? Obviously, they don't think it's my stomach because I had the endoscopy done where they take the scope and they go in through, down through your throat to look at your stomach. So I've had that done. And the only thing that they see there was the gastritis that I already knew I had for years, you know. So, so it's like, I don't know, like, I'm a little bit scared, I'm a little bit nervous, I definitely want to bring it up to my doctor. Because I'd rather them make it, it okay, you know what I mean? Like, over the past week I've drank in so much white soda, room temperature white soda, because my stomach has been so upset and I'm literally like eating one meal a day like maybe a meal and a half a day because of my upset stomach you know I'm like I don't know what you know like and it, 
it, it doesn't seem like it's one particular thing if it if that makes any sense it doesn't seem like it's dairy or or you know like whatever you know because it seems like everything that i eat makes my stomach hurt so i kind of want to have them test to see if you know maybe i have a gluten sensitivity maybe check to see if my intestines or my bowel is okay i don't know if my bowel will make my stomach hurt or my intestines will make my stomach hurt this bad but i'd rather them check to see you know i mean going back to the surgery you know this is supposed to be a post-surgery i'm kind of saying what's currently wrong i'm gonna hold you guys again because i'm going around this freeway thing but um i uh i have had a little bit of complications since my surgery nothing super major because I haven't had to go in for you know to get you know another surgery done or anything like that but I had four incisions um, and the one incision above my belly button ripped open and he said for bigger people it's more common who have this surgery for it to rip open for that particular one to rip open and I had to go back and they gave me, you know, like a bunch of gauze and surgical tape and all that stuff to take home, you know, and saline to keep it clean. That I had to do for almost two weeks. I would say almost three weeks after my surgery. And it's just now finally closing. And I'll insert a picture on whichever side. I'll insert a picture of how my stomach looks now. little bit too much my stomach muscles are still a little bit tender a month post you know it's not too bad though it's not too bad at all it's very tolerable you know tenderness and stuff but I don't know if that has anything to do with you know my stomach ache and stuff no idea but definitely gonna have them check it when I go into my appointment on the 8th um because I'm, I'm just a little bit concerned you know Especially just after having surgery and you don't know if you know the, the sickness or sicknesses and illnesses and pains that you feel you don't know if it's from the surgery you know so so yeah that's just what I want to talk to you guys about you know a month post surgery gallbladder surgery um, I'm just keeping it real with you guys you know like I'm saying if they know if doctors know for certain that it's definitely your gallbladder that's giving you a lot of complications and issues definitely go for it because it's something that your body can live without and if it can in hopes make you know the symptoms that you're having better go for it you know um, there's you know they have new technology where it can be, be very invasive you know like the what the one that I had the incisions were really really small you know so they can do that possibility and you know unless obviously you have complications and they gotta cut you open a little bit more obviously that comes with more you know healing and stuff but definitely get it you know I'm not saying don't get it I'm just one person out of many who've had it who may I don't like I said I don't know if the illnesses that I'm feeling are even related to that so but but I just wanted to keep you guys updated if you guys have any questions um, in regards to my experiences and stuff with the surgery definitely um, comment below and um, if you have the surgery let me know let me know if, if the surgery possibly worked for you because like I said everybody is different and I'm just one of many who have different things than others you know so um, Thanks for, you know, watching my car story time version of, you know, my po my one month post gallbladder surgery. And um, if you guys want to see anything like this in regards to any of the other diseases I have, which, you know, chronic pain syndrome, fibromyalgia, traces of lupus, you know, things like that. If you guys have them or if you guys have any questions, you know, your loved one may have it or not, you know, let me know. Comment down below. I definitely like to meet people who 
I relate to. So definitely those below. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And have an awesome day, guys. Hope to hear some, some comments. You know, hopefully we can, I can read some comments from you guys. And if you feel like you don't want to put it down in the comments, like it's too personal, but you still would like to talk about it, message me through YouTube. You know, message any of my social links, which are down below in the description. Um, I would definitely love to talk with you more about it. So I will see you guys later.